Hello, hello, gamer. Your local anime cat girl, who sounds like a dude, is here. And, uh, well, today, we're actually talking about the Helldivers 2 situation, because it did actually get updated today, and I've been meaning to actually make a video on this. Now, I don't normally make commentary videos, but I hope you can enjoy this one, and, uh, yeah, let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's begin with the Harbinger of Death, May 2nd. The Helldivers 2 Steam page announced this. Petition Helldivers, due to the technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allow the linking requirement for Steam accounts to a PlayStation Network account to be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See the details below in this post. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation PlayStation Studio games. This is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, as of May 6, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required to connect their Steam account to a PlayStation Network account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have a linked Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. PlayStation Network accounts are free and easy to set up using this link. We understand that while this may be an inconvenience to some of you, this step will help us to continue to build a community that you are all proud to be a part of. Many thanks for your continued support of Helldivers 2, Sony Interactive Entertainment. Now, I was personally very pissed off about this because I have friends that I want to stream this game with, like my IRL friends. And not only that, but, you know, all the people that I potentially would have collabed with in the future, my lovely acquaintances, I love you, mwah, but all those people probably would not have gotten this game and would not have had access to this game because Sony wanted to be, I don't know, they wanted to be dumb. They drank some stupid juice and were like, hey, this is a good idea. Let's, let's make people link their accounts. Yes. But no, no, it's it's dumb. It, it's really dumb. Now, a lot of people have made videos on this. Like two days ago, 24 hours ago, all that stuff. Ludwig made a video on it, on his mogul mail. You know, Moist Critical made a video on it. And some ordinary gamers, Mudahar, and a lot of other people that I've watched that, if I were to name them, that's a long laundry list. And the reason why a lot of people are pissed, because one, it was optional to begin with, fair enough. Two, bro, Sony does not have a good track record of being secure. Because if you can take a look at these, they clearly don't have a good track record. It's crazy, isn't it? Right? Not only that, but PSN only supports 69 countries. Nice. And the game was pulled from 177 countries. It was removed from all these countries on Steam. And I'm sitting here like, holy crap. Bro, like, I don't understand why they thought it was a good idea because they'd be losing on so much profit, right? It's like, is, am I am I dumb? Am I thinking of something stupid? It's, it's baffling. Because before this, right, before they removed all these, like, uh, countries, right, the total amount of countries that this game supported was 246, which is insane that they cut off that many countries. Once again, I have friends from some of these countries that have been cut off that may not ever have been able to play this game with me on like a collab stream or something, or just casually, which is freaking crazy, all right? It's, it's wild. No, not only that, not only that, right? But, you know, people got angry as they normally do. Fair enough. And then with the Twitter and before, before we go back up and look at that lovely, you know, bouquet up there. The review score started taking a hit. A really fat hit, okay? It started getting hit. And then over time, it got a bit worse. Because then, the Helldivers, the first Helldivers game, got a lot of hate. From overwhelmingly negative reviews. Helldivers 2 as well, you know. And everyone was pissed off. Excellent cape design, pretty cool from a community member. That's a meme of the overwhelmingly positive, um, or negative, I mean. Overwhelmingly negative reviews. And then this uh, happened, like, an hour ago. By the way, I've made this, I tried making this video like 12 times now. I've messed up my mic like several of those times. And it's, uh, it's not, it's not good. But yeah, no, it is a crazy growth of how many reviews this game had initially and after this whole incident. If we take a look at the Steam database thing, once this update got announced, this started happening. 62,000 negative reviews. 114,000, 154,000. Bro, the game basically had 
300,000 negative reviews, which initially I believe the game had like 200 and like roughly 250,000 like positive reviews, which is insane. <laughs> it's, it's how it goes to show how a corpo like company, you know, a corpo being super dumb and thinking that this is the best decision for like the entire like the entire like player base causes all this negative feedback to happen. And luckily enough, you know, there is actually a good ending to this story, luckily enough. They posted this at 12 a.m. where I'm from. It might have been different where you're living, obviously, but... Helldivers fans! We've heard your feedback on the Helldivers 2 account linking update. The May 6th update, which would have required Steam and PlayStation Network account linking for new players and for current players beginning May 30th, will not be moving forward. We're still learning what is best for PC players, and your feedback has been invaluable. Thanks again for your continued support of Helldivers 2, and we'll keep you updated on future plans. Dude, this line, and no hate to the community manager, I know they're trying to, you know, just do what they're supposed to do. We're still learning what is best for PC players. The company doesn't know what they're doing! They don't! They clearly don't! Everyone got pissed off, they thought this was a genius idea. I don't know why, someone drank stupid juice and was like, <laughs> We're gonna have everyone link up. Like, no, you're dumb. You're dumb, I don't, I don't understand why. And... Democracy prevails, as it should be. Everyone was really excited. These are the reviews, you know, this is a spike, and that's what maybe might be turned into a cape design. I don't know, if they if they made it into a free cape design, props to them, you know, the Helldivers uh, 2 studio, you know, Arrowhead Games. If they make this, awesome. Fan and devs won. Devs were getting a lot of hate, too, because, you know, they were a part of this decision, because Sony is the publisher of this game, and they made it so that the devs had to post about this. Pissed out a lot of people off. And one of my favorite streamers, Pirate Software, talks about how, well, this is a victory for the players, you've left a lasting stain on your brand. As a publisher, many people have very little reason to trust Sony going forward. Booming the business before you can understand the player base is never the right choice. Well, point proven, because look at this situation. All those reviews are insane. But uh, yeah, no, happy ending. I'm actually really glad that this happened. And I can't wait to actually try to see if I can get more people to play uh, this game with on stream and uh yeah other than that i am streaming minecraft every monday streaming minecraft 2 p.m est today actually on twitch if you want to check it out there's a link in the description please consider checking out we do have fun playing minecraft and maybe i'll actually build my house and other than that thank you for watching and stay tuned in case i make more commentary videos love you bye Mwah!